What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley where I'm just hanging out watering plants. I was going to start the episode out sleeping because I like to keep my episodes pulse pounding, but it didn't go like that. It didn't go like that. I thought it might be too much for your little hearts to handle. Welcome on back to Stardew Valley where we are going to be hanging out for a little bit. Shane sent us mail, I guess. And so our dear friend Joja Shane said that he's got a recipe for us or something. I don't know. We can't cook recipes. We can't cook recipes until we actually get our house sorted out. And that takes like $10,000. I don't know if you've noticed, but we don't really have $10,000. Let the chickens be free! Sometimes I like to let the chicken. Who let the chickens out? Baka? Baka! Like, sometimes you gotta let the chickens out. They don't like being contained all the time. You can't push them because they're close to the edge. They're trying not to lose their heads. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, I was going to dump this hay over it. No, don't pick it back up. Look, the chickens come out. They're like, oh, yeah, chickens on the yard. I actually I got a little pull-up bar over here. Every now and again, they run bleachers. It's basically chicken prison where we abduct their children every single day and then reduce them to a fine mash that our people like to eat. However, chickens are kind of dumb like that, so they don't really they don't really protest very much. Either way, their, chickens are, their chicken children are going inside the machine, and they will be converted into delicious sandwich moisturizing paste. They have no choice. That's not a debatable. It's gonna happen either way. They can get a, they can get down or they can lay down on this one. They can get down or they can lay down, and they don't look too lazy to me. They might end up fighting some chickens. Them chicken pull-ups though, making them wings all tough. I think I'll probably sell off these, and then I'll save the rest because we do need the cash infusion. This might be a serious amount of money. I don't know how much we're gonna get out of this, but 55 blueberries. I think the blueberry seeds cost like 60 bucks. So it's possible we might get like 80 per couple blueberries out. I don't know. It's a thing that I'd have to keep an eye on. We're waiting right now. I'm waiting for our farming to get better. It hasn't gotten better yet. The next level of farming, I finally looked it up. The next level of farming is the one where we end up. We need 40 wood for the tapper. Hmm. Now that we've watered everything though. Like, let's say I take this corn right here, and I shove it inside my gullet, just raw. I just eat the hell out of that thing. Energy doesn't look too bad. I kind of want to test out this pickaxe. I'm a tiny bit excited about it. Like, I want to find out if this pickaxe is any good for us. I'm going to sell these urchins. I'm going to sell that coral, too. Cool. Nope, we're not going to go this way. We're going to go the other way over to the mine, because I am all... Oh, our scarecrow apparently is lending some kind of... Are you eating my plants right now, chicken? Every day I feed you hay. Every day I give you all the things you need in order to sustain yourself. I keep the cat away from you. He's looking at you. You're made out of kitty toys. Kitty toys always have feathers involved somehow. You are made out of kitty toys. And he just keeps looking at you like that toy seems like it would be the best toy ever. I kind of want to go grab it. Some people would argue that a cat can't kill a chicken. I would strongly argue against that. I, I had a cat that used to attack deer. Like, my cat was super gangster. I had a cat named Jessie, and she was hardcore. Like, the most hardcore cat I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, she was the kind of cat that you were a little bit afraid of. Like, she lived in your house, but you were a little terrified. Sometimes you put her out in the yard, and there'd be, like, a herd of turkeys out there, and she would just walk in between all the turkeys. What, because remember my mom had pet turkeys? She would walk in between the turkeys and just be like, yeah, bitch. And then sometimes, like, the turkeys, there'd be, like, a food pile. She would lay down on top of the food pile. And when the turkeys came by, she would, like, slap them in the head and stuff. Like, she was she was a cat with issues. A very angry little feline who just wanted to fight with everything. She, the only thing she ever lost a fight with was a raccoon. They pulled her guts out. Although the doctor put them right back in. She had to have this weird tube thing coming out of her butt for a while, though. She, like, peed and pooped out of this tube thing for a while. But, yeah, the raccoons taught her that maybe she wasn't the most hardcore thing out there. Yep, got in a fight with a raccoon. That's the only one that ever went badly, but she would attack deer. She would attack just about anything. Like, deer would be out in the front yard just kind of, like, grazing and doing their thing. And you would see her. She'd get, like, one ear pushed back, and she'd be like, These deer are doing what in my land? Burn the coal. You pay the toll. About to find out. <laughs> and you'd see her just take off across the field. And she'd be nipping at their heels, taking swipes at them. And they'd be like, What is this thing, a squirrel? Ah! Like, trying to run away. The deer were just completely and totally, oh, we got a dwarf scroll. Gunter can tell you more about it if you take it to the museum. Apparently that ghost was like the master of like dwarvish theology and linguistics or something. So I guess we got another dwarf scroll. I do need more coal, so I'm going to kill some of these little coal beasts down here. 
And then I think I might need some more iron. I don't know the exact quantity of iron that I'm going to need in order to properly make sprinklers. Because sprinklers are coming up really, really soon. We are level 5 and we need to be level 6 in order to use the sprinklers. I'll probably level up during the next planting season would be my guess. I still wonder if these lead... And there would be no way to verify this. Whether the different ladders lead to different dungeons or whether they all lead to whatever's been prescribed as next I guess the only person that would know is the developer because you can't go back to previous floors once you've already come down so I will 36 hit right there that's pretty good that's a pretty good hit get up out of here ghost oh he drops gold ore too man that ghost is loaded that ghost is balling got an extra coal right there which I think is going to be super useful I think that's kind of aquamarine or something over on that left hand side Let's go investigate that because I don't recall what this might be, and it might be Mithril. Oh, it's a diamond. Okay. We got ourselves another diamond. I'm going to throw away that bat wing because right now it doesn't seem like a pressing concern. I may also eat that. Actually, we'll get rid of you. Get rid of you. I don't think we need much stone right now. And in the case that we do, I can farm up more stone really, really quickly. It's not a difficult thing to accomplish. I need this iron over here. Get away, bat. Keep it away, keep it away, keep it away now. I don't like bats. Bats are, actually I do like bats. I'm lying. Bats are like little dogs with wings. They're adorable. If I had a pet bat, I would hug the shit out of it. Like I would hug it until the guano was just like out of its back end and you just couldn't stop it from happening. Even if it got all over the carpet. Even if it got all over the carpet, I would still hug the hell out of that bat. Because they got those watery eyes. That's the thing is they got those little eyes that are just like, oh, I'm so sad. Everybody cuddle me. I'm blind and I see with sonar or something. <sighs> I'm like, no, little blind baddie. I will help you see. I will help you see. Hold me, baddie. Hold me. Let's be best friends forever. Let's cuddle. Because everybody knows all mammals enjoy cuddling. It's a fundamental part of the mammal experience. Being big spoon and little spoon. Just hanging out. I'm going to get rid of this ghost fish, too. We're just picking up all kinds of rowdy bullshit that we don't need. Did you pick up? Okay, so we got the frozen geode. I'm allowing those to stack up for a little while before I do anything else with them. We should have a pretty good opportunity to go at least five floors this time around. Wish that we had more time, but I didn't get started quite as early as I would have liked to if we wanted to have like a real full clear day where we go like super far down in. A little bit more koal. I always thought that like in a video game, I would have coal mining. Oh, we got dwarf scroll four too. I always thought that I would have a, like, a team of coal mining koalas, but they'd be called koalas with a C instead. You would just swap the C out, or the K out for the C. I always thought that that would be like super funny. Be like, who's working in the mine right now? I've got six teams of koalas down there. If there's a cave-in, we'll lose them all. I don't know. The game would have some kind of storyline which involved rescuing koalas because they're cute. Although they get dirty, but... I had a girlfriend who thought that was like the cutest thing ever, that koalas just like shit all over themselves. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that means that they're sick. I'm like 80% sure that when any animal is just covered with its own refuse, it means that they're probably not feeling so good right now. You got some kind of like koala cancer, and she'd be like, shh, you. Stop tempering my expectations. He's adorable because he's too lazy to clean his own little butt, and so he needs us to do it for him because he's adorable. And I'm like, I'm not cleaning a koala's ass ever. I'm sorry, he can clean his own ass. That's a fully grown koala right there. The day that I come home to my own house on a work day and clean a koala's butthole is the day where I will seriously just reinvestigate my priorities in life. I am not cleaning a koala's butthole inside my own house. It is just not happening. This is my house. I pay the rent. When he pays the rent, I'll wipe his asshole. But up until then, not happening. Not gonna happen. I don't really care about the ghosts because they don't hurt that much. And they move so slow that I don't want to, like, stop off and... Waste time trying to fight with them right now. These crystal formations, it's really kind of a shame that we're just like raging through here, destroying them. Oh, that's not good. What's about to happen? I think something's about to happen and it's probably going to hurt and be bad for us. Oh, man. Something is definitely happening right now. Colors are becoming more bluey. It's a technical term. Gotta watch out in the dungeon when the colors get bluey. Make you say fooey. Uh. 
This would also be easier if the attack direction was not the direction that I'm facing. It was the direction that my mouse was in. This would be a lot easier. Get out of here, bats! Eh, you winged scoundrels! You forces for great evil in the dungeon. Why won't you leave me alone? All I want to do is adventure and maybe break open some crates and take your treasure. Is that so much to ask? Also murder a couple of these slimes over here. Little known fact, in the bat world, the slimes are used for sustenance. They grow and they gain mass. And the bats will come by and they just... They just like sip a little bit of the nectar off the top of the slime. Just a little bit of nectar. Not a lot. Not enough to kill the slime. Just enough to wound it a little bit so it can't run away fast. I need to like throw things away. Because I think we're about to get some treasure. Ooh, more frozen geodes. Yes, please. So. I will probably eat this. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. I think this was a pretty solid run for us. We'll go down a floor in just a minute. Nope, not the bat wing either. I want this frozen tier, because we're going to need that. The frozen tier is useful for, I think, a collection and then something else. I don't remember exactly. I don't really have anything to throw away right now. I guess I can throw away the rocks. What's in here? We got the crystal dagger. That's definitely not going to see any use. I don't like the daggers very much. This one crits a lot, if I remember right. It crits all the time. Which can make it semi-useful in a scrum with your chums, if you're not feeling too dumb. Or if you're not a bum. I'm not a bum. I'm a human. I have a bum, though. We're going to go inside here, and I'm just going to sell that thing. I don't even want it. Yep, 450. Take it. Done. Finished. Don't complain in the comments. It's not going to matter. It's all over. You can't stop this from happening. You just got to get on board with it. Crystal Dagger's okay. It just makes you crit a lot, but I don't like the weapons that have that tiny little stab radius. I've got bad aim, and I just, I need things to cover large areas. Like, when I swing, I need it to be an AoE. Otherwise, I just, I'm not going to accomplish anything. It's just going to be pathetic. I should probably figure out where my darling lady lives so that I can, I guess I should just drop by the school every single day while she's teaching the kids. Or something. This is a gold star frozen tier. I don't think I've ever seen a gold star frozen tier before. Huh. That sounds like one of those items you need in a freemium game in order to like level up your characters or something. Be like, all right, it's four ninety nine for twenty five gold star frozen tiers. I don't remember what they were called. Sorry, it got confusing. It's hard. My job is difficult. Okay. More mayonnaise so that I can continue to bribe people with its delicious goodness. And then, have I turned all this stuff into Gunter and whatnot? I've got geodes and all kinds of random things sitting around right now. I will hold on to those in case I need them later. I will probably swing most of this stuff over to... I'm assuming that maybe later on I probably need diamonds and things like that for collections. So I'm going to hold on to them now while I've got them. I don't think I need gold or coal right now. So these can all be just sorted away. Little bit of gold, little bit of coal, little bit of mining to soothe your soul. That definitely sounds like one of those old ass songs from like back in the 70s where it was kind of like a country song but it was also kind of like rock and you can't really tell. We got green beans too. I didn't realize I held on to green beans. I guess I've still got green beans. Hooray for me. It's 1040 at night. I'm going to bed. This is an undeniably early night for me in real life. 1030 is super early for me. Yeah, there it is. Refill those coffers. Let's get those things hacking again. Now, if the bank account's all nice and full and we ain't feeling broke no more, oh, we're going to get multiple harvests. Tonight, at around 10 o'clock p.m., a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing by Pelican Town on their long journey south for the winter. We're all gathering at the beach to watch. You don't want to miss this. I'll see you later tonight, Demetrius. See, Demetrius knows what's up. Although, these people need to get on some email or something. I don't know what's up with this snail mail. People around here. I didn't think we were going to get another... I didn't think we were going to get another harvest of blueberries, so I will take this for sure. 
they're all gonna die tomorrow, so we might as well. Now, as far as I know, we only need to water... I don't know what we need to water. We need to water something, though. Hmm. Like, I don't really want to waste time watering the stuff that... It's just going to vanish on us anyway. This should be a pretty good payday, too. That should give us enough money to expand out the homestead. Make it a little bit nicer. The homestead. That's it. That's how I'm referring to my apartment from now on. It's my homestead. It's not very homesteady, though. My apartment's a little bit gnarly. People always ask me to do one of those walkthrough videos where I walk through you through my house, and I'd be like, no, people don't need to know the squalor that I live in. They don't need to understand how far this goes. Like, this is... This is not for human consumption. People don't do this willingly. People do this that have severe mental issues. And I just, I don't want anybody to know about it. My house is gnarly. It's bad. My house is pretty brutal. Now, it's, what's weird is in college I had like a beautiful house. My apartment was fantastic. Now I live in like a shitty neighborhood though with like shitty people and a shitty apartment. And I just don't care. Like I'm not gonna put in any effort whatsoever. It's like whatever. When I lived in like a nice neighborhood and my apartment was hella dope, my shit was pristine. It was always looking nice. It was always looking super crisp. Nowadays it's just like, eh. I'm a renter. I don't care. I have no stake in how nice this place looks. They're going to keep my deposit anyways. They always keep your deposit. It's a giant racket. Landladies are gnarly about that shit. I think I've got my deposit back like once, and that's just because I called them on some shit. Like I, there's a California law that states if somebody lives in the house for more than four years, you have to replace the carpet by law. And she tried to charge me for the carpet like I ruined it when I lived there for six years, and I was like, you've got to swap the carpet anyways by California state law, you're just trying to outsource your costs on me. And then they dropped it once I got hyped about it. But other than that, they always keep the... They always keep the deposit. If they don't have an excuse, they'll make one up. They'll be like, oh yeah, there was like a dent in a wall in some place. And it doesn't, like I tried keeping documentation too, it doesn't matter. It's a racket, it's all rigged so that the tenant always ends up paying for everything. Usually a pretty gentle renter. But I just stopped caring once I realized you never get your deposit back anyways. Used to be when I was young and naive and thought the world worked on fairness and sunshine and kisses. Now I realize it runs on money, and that's pretty much it. That's the fuel. Those fuel units. God. Getting in my new Lambo here. My first thought was to set up a webcam and talk about my Lambo and my fuel units. I make self-help books that rip off stupid people, so I have lots of money. You shouldn't be proud of that, man. You shouldn't be, shouldn't be bragging about this shit. I paraphrase Soon Tzu for three books. It's mostly plagiarism, but nobody ever calls me on it. Yay! Can I speak dwarfish yet? <gasps> A futon bear! I like giant fuzzy things. It's gonna be pretty rad. I can tell already. When do I get... When do I get... I don't have scroll one or two, do I? I just realized this. Like, I started with scroll three. Maybe I should get on that. I need to figure out, like, what tumultuous set of events needs to take place in order to supply me with further dwarfish scrolls. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Ba boom, boom, boom. Ba boom, boom. Hey, girl, you want some mayonnaise? For me, thank you. Does she love me yet? Man, this is taking a while. It was easy to seduce Pam. Then again, Pam seems kind of easy and desperate. She seems like you just got to wait for the alcoholism to take place or something. She got that 1980s trailer park lady hair. My friend crashed his car. It was it was a story of white trash victory. A bunch of my friends when I was growing up lived in the trailer park. There was a trailer park like a block from my house. And so a bunch of my friends that I went to school with lived in the trailer park. And then the rest of us lived like in the apartments and random houses around there. And so, anyway, wait, where is the school taking place? Oh, it's Sunday. There's no school today. That's right. Damn kids and their days off. I'm trying to hear I'm trying to seduce their teacher. They just won't let me have it. Getting in the way. 
causing problems. I'm like, let her nurture you in front of me because I like watching. Just let that happen right now. I don't know if this is wrong or not, but it feels so right. I don't know what it is with my weird teacher fetish. That's odd. Hey, what's going on? This is a really nice gift. Thank you. I bet the kids don't like the mayonnaise, though. I bet you give mayonnaise to the kids and they're like, what in the hell? Couldn't you give me some jacks or, like, some bouncy balls or, like, an iPhone or something? Like, what the shit? Give me, like, a $5, like, Flappy Bird gift card or something? Kids are into weird stuff nowadays. Gift cards, like, weren't a thing when I was a kid. Like, you couldn't get those. They didn't exist. So people actually had to get you, like, thoughtful gifts. They actually had to try. Hmm, what are they into? Ah, screw it. Let's get them a $25 subway card. Mm. So in fall, takes all season to grow. A rare seed. Okay, she has multiple omelets in here. Yeah, sure. I'm flush with cash. I'll buy one. And then I was hoping she would actually have the sprinklers. That's what I was hoping, is she would have iridium sprinklers. So she sells iridium sprinklers, which hit, like, a lot. They hit four squares in every direction around themselves. Like, iridium sprinklers are on. But it's really hard to come by iridium in-game. And so most people suggest that you should start buying iridium sprinklers as soon as possible. So that you can just have them on hand for when you decide to expand out your farm. Having four or five of those things will make your life a lot easier. Unfortunately, it looks like we're destined for hardship and suffering, so... Get on board. Woo woo. The train of suffering is coming through town. I could tap all these maple trees, but I would rather chop them down. So we got to go over there at 10 p.m. for this jelly dance thing. All right. Well, shit. I don't know if we're actually going to... Hmm. Whatever. It'll be fine. I wear my sunglasses when I log so I can, so I can. It was a pretty popular song when I was a kid. Although, I kind of grew up during like the Third Eye Blind era. Where everything was like upbeat college rock that people jumped up and down to. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Whatever happened to Third Eye Blind? Are they riding the nostalgia wave nowadays? I would assume that they would be. I mean, it's an easy out. Like, if you can just get your music to career, your music career to survive like a certain amount of time, from then on, all you have to do is just do nostalgia tours, and then you'd be like 100% good to go. If you're wondering why I'm spending so much time working on getting wood, it's going to be important in the future. We got to have more wood. I don't know where my lady hangs out. Ooh. More mayo for the mayo throne. Perfect. My mayo supremacy. It grows with every passing hour. It grows! So what do people do on Sunday afternoons here? Like, drink heavily? Like, what's... What are Sundays reserved for? There's no church here. So I'm assuming we're a big old crop of heretics. What's what's on the agenda with all this extra free time we have on account of ignoring Jesus? Huh? I think... <laughs> he just keeps calling, but I just keep muting it. <laughs> what ringtone would you give to Jesus? Like, that's the question. I think I would give him that song from Grand Theft Auto 4. They're like, Eins, zwei, drei, schicky, schicky, feine. I think that's the one that I give. I don't know. It just seems like a good song to give Jesus. I don't know what she's saying. I have no idea what that song's about. I'm sure it's about something horrible. Now that I've assigned it to Jesus, I'm going to look like an asshole, but... I bring gifts! I bring gifts of mayo! For all the lovely townsfolk. Well, the ones that I want to sleep with, anyways. I'm a little bit biased in that regard. Where in the hell are these people? Oh, more mayo for you. No! Haley's already had her mayo for the day. Alex is going to have to be... Content with the sloppy seconds, I guess. That double dipstick action. <laughs> Thank you. We'll take a shower or something. <laughs> oh, how did this get so far off the rails in her castle? I don't even know anymore. Like, it really is like the sincerest sense of just being like, eh, whatever. 
she like hang out in the general store all day? Pierre and Caroline. Oh yeah, they worship Sigmar here. I always forgot. I always forget they worship Sigmar. They got their big old shrine to burnt crispy heretics. Eh, I figure we'll do the slime thing in the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle. Time is going by really slowly. I don't know. I'm not good at this. I'm impatient. I'll see y'all next time. Hi to everybody. This is Stardew Valley. Obviously, you should check it out. It's probably one of the greatest games ever in the indie genre. Bye.